The pituitary gland is considered the master gland of the human body. It is responsible for all of the major hormone outputs throughout the body and affects every system that you can think of. If a tumor develops in the pituitary gland, the effects of these diseases are severe and profound and have long-lasting effects for the patients. I was already on maternity leave and I was at home watching TV and looking at the computer and I was noticing that I couldn't see all the letters. It wasn't that it was blurry, it wasn't that I was dizzy, I just couldn't see all the letters on the screen. And so um, I immediately went to my eye doctor to see if there was a problem with my vision and they said no, it was something behind the eye. And so I went to the ophthalmologist and they recommended a, a, a MRI scan. And that's when they told me that no, it was actually a pituitary tumor. Um, and that it could potentially, um, you know, make me blind if I didn't treat it um, because it was already severely affecting my optic nerve. I was actually diagnosed the day before I gave birth to my daughter. So there was a lot of um, emotions riding on that. I had taken the time to um, have that surgically removed um, shortly after, and that was uh, about seven years ago at this point. And at the time, it wasn't totally removed, and so when I was diagnosed again that it had grown back, um, everyone said, you have to go see Dr. Lewis. We've made huge advances in the last 10 years with the technology and the techniques to be able to remove pituitary tumors through minimally invasive approaches. The endonasal approach for pituitary tumors has really become the best way to approach these tumors. And the technology has advanced so rapidly that we're able to visualize and completely resect these tumors with minimal risk to the patient. This allows them to have shorter hospital stays. Usually these patients are in the hospital two or three days only. It allows us to preserve the normal pituitary function, which is critically important for them to re return to their normal life afterwards. The infection rates are exceedingly low. The rates of visual improvement and hormonal improvement are very high. So overall, using the end endoscopic endonasal approach really is the best way to approach these in the majority of cases. Dr. Lewis was very confident in um, his surgical technique and he felt like I was a good candidate for the um, pituitary resection and he also went through in detail the technologies of the 3D stealth MRI, the Doppler protection for protecting the carotid arteries during surgery. And so I felt like the technology had really advanced. Hogue had um, invested a lot of time and effort in developing the program with not just the technology, but also bringing in Dr. Lewis, bringing in a whole team of endocrinologists and other care providers to ensure that before, during, and after I'd be safe. Um, he did the endonasal, and that was with the help of uh, Dr. Timothy Kelly. And it really was almost uneventful, two or three days post-op. I really felt like I was back to normal. Five days later, I was able to go to my daughter's school and see her get an award at school. Those are the things that, that matter. Before I had the tumor removed, the pituitary tumor removed, um, I was always feeling this weight on me and this sense of not being able to cope, feeling like the world was weighing down on me. Not so much in a, you know, sad or depressed way, but just this, just this feeling of being overwhelmed that the world was um, on top of you. And um, after having it removed, um, I feel like I can just walk and be happy and um, be myself and engage with people. And um, so it's been tremendous for my family, for my professional career, uh, my children, my husband, um, just being able to be, you know, intimate with him again. It's been life changing. It just was unbelievable timing of Hogue recruiting Dr. Lewis and bringing on this technology. It was interesting to me that the pituitary program was being established. It just was shocking to me when I had this need and it was the perfect timing and everything really lined up. And um, I'm thankful to Hogue and I'm thankful to 
Dr. Lewis, um, and the entire care team at Hogue, as well as the Hogue Medical Group that really took care of me.